Payadas is a barangay located in the 2nd district of Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. Nearby barangays are Commonwealth, Batasan Hills and Bagong Salangan. History The name Payadas derived from the word Payat Satas, which means the soil located in the upper part of Tullahan River is not good for planting rice. It is divided into three local government areas called barangays in the Philippines. They are known simply as the Payadas A, B, C. Barangay 8 is the original name of Payadas. Payadas is the only barangay established under judiciary rule. Physical features Located northeast of Quezon City, Barangay Payadas occupies a little less than 20% 20% of the city's land area and has about 15% 15% of the city's total population. These figures are hotly disputed by academic surveys, however, given that Payadas is far more densely populated than the rest of Quezon City and much of Manila. The census says there are just under 120,000 people living in Barangay Payatas, though academic studies suggest the real figure, given that most people or squatters are therefore do not own the land they're living on and are not included in official figures, is closer to 500,000, Gaillard and Kadag, 2009, Bernardo, 2004, among others. Payadas shares a border with La Mesa Dam to the north, Barangay Bagong Salangan to the east, Barangay Batasan Hills to the south, and Barangay Commonwealth to the west see Map 1. Until today, about a third of the land in various parts of Payadas is being claimed in disputes between the municipalities of Montalban and San Mateo, as well as the barangays of Commonwealth and Fairview. Land area and land use Payadas is characterized by a steep and sloping terrain, crisscrossed by creeks, rivers, ravines, and low-lying areas near the Marikina River. A fault line runs through its eastern boundary. A large part of the area is classified as medium residential zone that includes housing subdivisions, depressed or informal settlements, and undeveloped areas. Covering a total land area of 774 hectares, a greater portion of Payadas is privately owned 681 hectares, or 88%, see Chart 1. Government-owned land, which includes the 4-hectare National Government Complex NGC, and the Quezon City property, covers a smaller portion 12%, 93 hectares, of the total land area. While portions of the privately owned area were already developed into residential subdivisions, a vast area 80%, has yet to be fully developed. Nonetheless, despite the poor access and lack of services and facilities, these areas continue to attract a large number of informal settlers from various areas of Metro Manila. Around the 1970s, upon the initiative of a former Barangay official, Barangay Payadas was divided into two major settlement clusters Area A and Area B to organize the route of public vehicles. Each area, with its large population and land area, was further subdivided to allow for easier information dissemination and reporting to and from the Barangay see Table 1 below. The larger Area B is further subdivided into groups 1 to 13 and phases I to IV in Looping Pangaco, consisting of around 5,000 families where the poorest of the poor are located. Payadas Dump Site A distinguishing feature of Payadas is the Payadas Dump Site, a 13 hectare garbage dump site in Area B in the 1970s. The area was merely a ravine that was surrounded by farming villages and rice paddies. Now, Payadas houses a 50-acre landfill which earns it the names. Second Smoky Mountain. 21st Century Smoky Mountain. New Smoky Mountain. Or. Modern Day Smoky Mountain. Due to scavengers migrating from the original Tondo landfill in 1995 after the latter's closure. A landslide of junk on July 10, 2000, killed 218 people living on the dump site and caused 300 missing persons, though many first hand accounts note that the number is far greater and much closer to 1,000. Payada's dump site is still the largest open dump site in the Philippines and was reopened only months after the 2000 disaster at the request of scavengers and other residents of the area who depend on it for their livelihood. 
There has been some good progress at the dump site since the landslide of 2000, as the dump site has been resloped to a 40-degree angle from its original 70-degree angle while children under the age of 14 have been banned from the dump site and methane extractors remove the methane and convert it into electricity, preventing the spontaneous fires which used to characterize it. Payadas is still a very poor area and many foundations operate in Payadas to help improve the opportunities of residents. This includes, notably, Puso ng Ama PNA, and the Fairplay for All Foundation. Fairplay run an alternative learning center, a sports center, and a cafe to holistically develop the community through social enterprise, safe spaces, and quality education. Each program is run in part by local residents. Several of the football players have also represented the country in the national youth team and for Team Philippines in the Street Child World Cup. Overall, Payadas Football Club has won more than 40 trophies between them. See also The Woman in the Septic Tank, a film set at Tondo Dumpsite Banking Papel Boys References Further reading Thoughts of Maria, a novel by Gregory Heath featuring a family living on the Payotas dump.